This video presents the transformation of conventional extracorporeal circulation in various models of minimal invasive extracorporeal circulation. Conventional extracorporeal circulation is the most popular system used in cardiac surgery procedures. However, conventional extracorporeal circulation can part a diverse event, for example, the acute kidney injuries, the alteration in coagulation, and the systemic inflammatory response syndrome due to the fact that of the hemolysis, the dilution, and the contact of the blood with the hair. This is the components for the transformation of conventionally minimal invasive circuits. The minimal invasive extracorporeal circulation type 1 is a linear system without the use of venous reservoir. It is a system with a venous line. In our experience, we had a venous bubble trap with the centrifugal pump, the deoxygenator, and the arterial line. The type 2 circuit add the bending line in the venous return. It is a system that uses eye removing device. Type 3 of minimal invasive extracorporeal circulation is an evolution of type 2. We add in these systems uh, soft shell venous reservoir bags for the management of the volume from the patients to the circuit. These are ideal systems for the patients with high body surface area. For the volume collection, use the central venous pressure in relation to the flow and the mean arterial pressure during the procedure. Type 4 is a modular system. We add in the closest circuit the venous reservoir. Venous reservoir help the perfusionist and the her team in the learning curve in minimal invasive extracorporeal circulation. This system is feasible in the transformation of closed circuit in the open circuit during the complication during conventional cardiac surgery procedures. The transformation from conventional to minimal invasive extracorporeal circulation comports a reduction of the contact surface and a reduction of the use of polymeric materials.